Today we're going to talk about what the different parts of your bow are called. It might surprise you to find out that your bow has lots of different names for different parts, but they're all very important. Here at the bottom of your bow, the silver part, it might have a black stripe around it, is called the screw. If you turn it clockwise, it tightens the bow hair. If you turn it counterclockwise, it loosens the bow hair. This black part here at the base of the bow is called the frog. Everybody asks why it's called the frog, and I honestly don't know. Every teacher has a different explanation. One of my teachers told me that one of the famous bow makers looked like a frog, and he put his picture right here on the bottom. I don't know if that's true or not, but it makes for a good story. Here, uh, the silver part and this leather part at the bottom of the stick is called the grip. It's where your pointer finger will rest when you're holding the bow. The entire wooden part of the bow is called the stick. Sometimes it's made out of synthetic wood. More times than not, it's actually made out of a really rare wood called Pernambuco wood, which is a type of Brazil wood. It's very fragile, so be very careful when you're holding it or walking through rooms with it. At the very top of the bow is called the tip. Never touch the tip to the ground. It's pretty fragile. This is called the horsehair. It's made from special, a special breed of horses that are actually bred for their tail hair that they use only for bows for string instruments. You don't want to touch your hands to the bow hair because the oils from your hands can get on the bow hair and that can actually destroy it. Be very careful with it. The silver piece at the bottom of the frog is called the clip. That's where your thumb will rest when you're holding the bow. It's also the piece that attaches all the bow hair into the tightening mechanism of the frog. The very last part of the bow that I think is really important is this little dot here on the frog. It's called the eye of the frog. A special finger of your hand will actually rest over the eye of the frog when you're holding the bow, and we call that finger the frog's eyelid. It's important to know where the eye of the frog is or put a sticker there if your bow happens not to have a little circle there. Some don't. Thanks for joining me. If you have any comments or questions, please contact me at my YouTube page.